the reunion, I mean, explosive. It was dirty. It was definitely the, I mean, Andy was yelling at us. <laughs> it was like the longest, hardest reunion that I've ever had. You know, obviously this season, it's all, you know, Margaret versus Teresa. Last season, you had your issues with Teresa, but watching back that fight with Margaret at that dinner, you know, what what were you kind of feeling? You know, not only being there and then watching it back because you got a, got a different perspective when Teresa left the table and things like that of what was said. Yeah, I don't, you know, in general, I know that Teresa was ticked off at the things that Margaret mm -hmm. had, that her perception of what Margaret had done. But at that dinner, Margaret hadn't said anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, that kind of, she, she was the one, Teresa was the one who really brought up the conversation. And Margaret, you know, she really hadn't said anything offensive. So I don't think that Teresa was justified in getting so upset at that dinner. But I never think that throwing things or any kind of physical violence is ever, ever okay. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, like use your words, even if they're curse words, like scream as loud as you want. But the minute that you throw something at somebody or you, you know, you physically attack them, it just crosses over into a territory that I don't think, uh, you know, it's just, it's so classless mm -hmm. that I just, I don't think it belongs on Housewives, you right. know? Um, when I spoke to Margaret the other day, she said during the reunion, it seemed like Teresa didn't have any remorse about what happened. Did you feel like that as well? Yeah, I feel like you want to see people evolve, but I don't I don't know that that happened. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like she can or wants to? Um, I think that she wants to be a better person for Louis. Mm -hmm. I think that he doesn't like the fighting from what I gather. He wants her to be friends with everybody and he wants to be friends with everyone's husband. So I think that maybe if he if he could influence her, I think that that could maybe move her in the right direction. But on her own, I just don't, I don't see it. There's been no, there really was no remorse. Mm -hmm. Why do you think she was so defensive about Louis's past this season and really didn't let him kind of get a word in? Um, I think that Teresa thinks that she is above answering questions. Mm -hmm. I think that she, you know, she believes that she can attack, but once you go near her, you know, she, she just thinks that she's on a different level than everybody else and deserves a, you know, a kiss the ring kind of respect. And mm -hmm. I don't think anyone one else sees it like that. So she just explodes if you disrespect her. Right. I mean, what can you tease about the finale? Because I mean, based on the trailer, it seems like maybe you and Louis have some words as well. And he kind of blows up and leaves. So what can you kind of tease about what kind of goes down the finale? Yeah, the 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 finale is it's again like it, it, it's it's not nothing. I don't want to give anything away, but like there's a lot of fighting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a lot of fighting. There's really going into reunion. There's not a lot of resolve. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly kind of what Margaret said. It, it, yeah. She said it was ugly and nothing gets resolved. I mean, what kind of words would you use to describe the reunion as well? Yeah. Uh, oh, the reunion. I mean, explosive. It was dirty. It was definitely the I mean, Andy was yelling at us. <laughs> it was like the longest, hardest reunion that I've ever had. I've been on four of them. It was by far the longest, hardest reunion. There was just no you know, like at the end of the, my third reunion, like it, third year was my hardest, hardest year. And at the end of that, like me and Teresa and Evan and Teresa, like everyone was hugging, like there was resolve. Yeah. We were going into the next year, like ready to, to like, you know, see what new friendships are coming. I don't, there was none of that this year. There was no like warm and fuzzy feelings at all. Yeah. And there were fights that you will not expect. There was like words between people that like, there was a lot of fights between um, people that, I mean, just got so out of hand that you would just not expect. Does that like leave you with like kind of like a pit in your stomach when you leave the reunion when nothing gets resolved? I mean, it's not so much a pit. It's it's sort of like, like, where do you go from here? Mm -hmm. Do you know, like I, I just don't know how certain of those people are going to find their way back to a good place, you know, but I guess you know, it remains to be seen.